Okay, we are going to IR in a little bit. What I want to do is carry on where we left off yesterday. So to refresh your memory, remember we're talking about character motivation. And readers infer what kind of people the characters are and what they want. What they want is another word for motivation. Motivation. What they want is motivation. When you take out your notes from yesterday, that looks like this. Okay, so we know that readers pay attention to, are you ready to move? Get up. You know. passed out, you are going to record your text evidence to support your thinking. I'm going to refresh your memory by looking at what we did with Paper Bag Princess. You are going to record your thinking on the My Main Character Chart. Here are the tools that you have to help you today. The list of character traits. Where is that? Take that out. List of all. Sorry, got it out. Nice job. You have your notes from yesterday that I asked you to take out, and I copied, I cleaned it up after school. I made copies of what we came up with for Paperback Princess, so I want you to take a look at that. That is another tool that you have. All right, after you IR, you're going to share with your partner what you noticed, and you're going to share the text evidence that you recorded to support your thinking. Refreshing our memory here. Remember, there are two places where you're going to take the information from the text. When you talk about the actions, thoughts, and dialogue of your character, and how do you know what your character wants? That's where you're going to paraphrase or use a direct quote. I want you to do whatever is most comfortable for you. I'm going to show you how I did it with keeping safe the stars. You guys know I'm reading Keeping Safe the Stars, and you know the main character has that weird name, Pride. Her name is Kathleen. So as I've been reading, and I told you how her motivation changed a little bit, but basically what she wants is to protect her family, and to raise money to see Old Finn. Do you remember who Old Finn is? Her grandpa in the hospital. So I, I started over here. Guys, I had to go back into the text to help me. So today, while you're reading, make sure you use that information in the text. This was a direct quote. And she says, acting like the boss was in my blood. That tells me that she's self-reliant. Only th She's only 13 years old. Yet she goes to town and the hospital on her own. That's a paraphrase. I put that in my own words. Then I've got, uh, they won't take charity from anyone. Remember, I told you how the store owner wanted to help her out? And she's like, nope, I don't want to take any charity. That tells me, here's her traits, self-reliant, independent, protective, resourceful. I got these from this sheet here. Except protective wasn't on there. I just know that's a good trait. So if your trait for your character isn't on here, put it on your sheet. All right, you know what she wants. Now, how do I know? How do I know she wants to protect her family? 
She keeps it a secret that they have no parent supervision. She doesn't want the county officials to take her siblings away, so she keeps it a secret. Um, I know she wants to raise money. She and her siblings are selling pony rides and popcorn. Remember I told you about that? I want to, I want you to look back here. One, I just want to say one more thing. When you grab your text evidence, I want you to try to do a little bit of both. Paraphrase, using your own words, try to get some direct quotes. I am not very good at that. If you notice on mine, oh no. I only have one direct quote, and that's right here. So I know as a reader that's something I need to work on. Direct quote is where you lift the language right from the text. You copy it right from the text. I'm going to leave your task up here so you know what to do. Remember, while you're reading today, you are going to cite text evidence for what you know about your character. Actions, thought, and dialogue and what motivates your main character. All right, go ahead and get started, guys. I've got to tell you guys, I heard some very rich, deep conversations about your books. You are doing a good job of identifying character traits. You're using text evidence to back it up. You're thinking about the motivation of your character because we know the motivation drives the plot of the story, it moves it along.